Hey everyone, and welcome back to the X-Ring. I have an exciting rifle that I've been threatening to review here recently. And guys, this is the proof conviction. This is a factory built gun. This is not something that was uh, just slapped together. So let's talk about this. So the proof conviction, which was renamed because they originally had the proof, I think it was the TAC-3 and I think they had to rename it. Uh, maybe because it sounds so close to Tika, I have no idea, but they build this rifle with a sub half MOA guaranteed. This one is chambered in a six millimeter Creedmoor. I don't know who's making the chassis for them. I would assume they're not doing it, but it is a carbon fiber chassis. Maybe they are doing it. It does have the adjustable cheek riser here. It's really nice if you haven't ever used any of these, you can take the C-clips, get them set so that when you're taking it out to remove your bolt or something like that, you can always find that spot. Now, they do use the Bighorn Actions. Now, this is marked proof. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so that is just rebranded, but it is the Bighorn, like the TL3 Action. It does have the Proof Research carbon fiber wrapped barrel. This is 24 inches long. It does normally have a Thunder Beast Ultra 7 on it. And this one's super lightweight, guys. I mean, the actual rifle itself weighs in somewhere between 6.6 .6 to about seven pounds, depending on barrel length and everything else. It does have a detachable box magazine, just super crisp action. And if you guys aren't familiar with Bighorn, they do have interchangeable bolt faces. So it's a toolless design. So if I wanted to go to a different size and if it was something that was in the same caliber range um, without getting too crazy, I know that on my six arc, I can immediately switch it to a 308 parent cartridge. So I could just rebarrel it and go straight to like a 6.5 Creedmoor or six millimeter Creedmoor. So that's the beauty of that. This is outfitted with the Area 419 Arca Swiss on the bottom. And of course it does have the Sky bipod on here, the double. One of the best bipods I have ever used. Um, just amazing how configurable this is. If you're gonna get into PRS and if you can find one of these, cause they are redesigning this, um, it is probably one of the best options you can possibly have out there because of how much it can actually can't. It is incredible. So on like rooftops and things like that, it makes it really, really nice. So other than that, we have it topped off with the spur mount. This is a 10 minute of angle with a 20 minute of angle on the base itself. So it gives me 30 minutes of angle. It does have the Night Force 7 to 35 ATAC R with the trimmer through reticle, just like what's on my AI. It does have the Digilume. I do have the perch up here so I can mount the Wilcox Raptor. It also has the Hall Kill Custom Data Card. I have a lot of people ask me about this data card. One of the best data cards out there. And it doesn't have the updated uh, LRA level, the one that just mounts right under the side of the spur. Uh, that might be coming, but this is a great setup, guys. It really is. It has the short action precision, two round, carrier here on the side. Try to do a little bit of shooting for you today. I had to get a little uh, creative with the 419 rail because of the way this was. What I did was I just put a short Picatinny there and that kept everything nice and level with the barricade stop. So I just wanted to give you guys a chance to see this. I'll get on the range here in just a second, maybe print a group at 100, but I'm not, I'm at my house. So I'm not at a location where I can get some long distance today, but I figured you would uh, appreciate a little bit of this eye candy because it is an awesome rifle. So before we shoot it, what about the price? Well, the base rifle starts at $7,699. Uh, this one was ordered with two matching barrels that were already head spaced, and it's as easy as unscrewing it, put a new one in. So when this one's burned out, we can go ahead and get the other one right in there. So all total, you're looking at <clears throat> a lot of money. It's uh, about 8,500 or more, closer to that 9,000 range, and that's without the optics and all the other stuff. For the scope, you're looking at MSRP about 3,800, about $400 on the mount, perch about another hundred, uh, sky bipod 700-ish, and the Hall Kill Custom about 120, I believe. LRA is going to run around 200. So yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's not an inexpensive game. This is not necessary. You can go out there with a RPR. You can go out there with a little Remington 700 and probably beat a guy that's carrying one of these. Uh, but maybe not but for the guy that can actually use this professionally uh, whether it's for hunting or whatever it's going to be able to perform for you with a guarantee all right guys so for a manufacturer to claim a sub half moa guarantee that's a really really strong statement and there is a statement that goes along with that 
the proof is in the pudding, okay? So we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna use Hornady ELD Match 6mm Creedmoor at 100 yards. And remember, this is a newer rifle. Forget break-in or any of that other stuff. That's already been done. So this thing should be printing at the top of its game. We're at about 100 rounds on this one right now. So I wanna see if I can print two groups that are sub half MOA. We'll check it out, we'll see. It will have the Thunder Beast Ultra 7 on there for the 264. All right, guys, so I don't have a camera down range, but these are the two one-inch pasties that I'll be shooting at. I'll be shooting factory ammunition. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, so target's down there at 100 yards. I've got a brand new box of six Creedmoor 108 ELD match. Well, let's see what happens, who knows? I might not be capable of sub half MOA. We will definitely put it on the data and find out. We'll do six shots and see what happens. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do six rounds. There's two, three, four, five. And guys, no doubt proof makes great products, but um, I really want to see. I want to see for myself here. We do have the Thunder Beast Ultra 7 in place. Guys, remember, we're not trying to hit the pasty because this is actually zeroed in for hand loads. So here we go. It actually hit the pasty. Next three shot group, I know there should be five, but you know what, for all the naysayers out there, let me go ahead and do five. Five on the first one. I don't know, it's gonna be close. It's not stacking them dead on top of each other. Still shooting well, definitely sub MOA. But looking at it, it's probably about a 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Could be me, could be me. We always have that to factor in there. Uh, I am getting some Mirage off the suppressor already. But since I decided to do a five shot group, I'll give it just a second. This will be no different than let's say a PRS stage. So two, three, four, five. If you guys are wondering on the big horn action, if you just work the bolt slowly, it's probably not gonna eject the round. It's based on how hard you extract to how far it actually throws it. So let me try to get in a little better position. We'll go for the second target to the right. The Mirage is really bad right now off the suppressor. I can already hear it now. My RPR shoots better than that. <clears throat> Remember, these aren't hand loads, these are factory loads straight from Hornady. The second group was actually not that bad. I had four pretty much in the same hole. We'll take a group measurement on that. We'll see what happens. Sub half a MOA guarantee, but there you go. And that's with factory ammunition without hand load. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark it up. And guys, that was straight out of the box. Of just regular six millimeter Creedmoor. All right, you guys. Did a, a little friendly bet with uh, X-Ring about this whole proof shooting a sub MOA <clears throat> and he said the proof is in the pudding and there's only one pudding left and I got this and uh, he, he's on it should be on his way up I heard the last few shots and yep here he comes right now 
So what we normally do is we use sub MOA and that'll tell us how big or small the groups are. So I'm sure he's already looked it up. And uh, let's see the proof. Cause the proof is gonna be my pudding if it's not. <clears throat> okay, so that's tight. Did you do sub MOA yet? I did. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm hoping I get this pudding. Okay, those are pretty nice. They could be very close. Those look like they could be very close. <clears throat> so sub him away. I think it's gonna be too close to call at this point, so let me check. Those are the good first groups. Group, first group is 0.5 MOA. 0.5 MOA. I don't know if you guys can see 0. that. 0.5, so that's and that would be that's half. That would be the very Oh uh, come on, this pudding doesn't sound like it's gonna be. That'd be the second group that I shot. The first group. 0.49 MOA, 0.49. Well, there goes so my pudding. What? The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Give me my pudding. Almost had it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of the proof conviction. I know a lot of guys are going to say, they're going to say, well, you know, you're reviewing these rifles that are crazy expensive, and I liken it to going by a magazine stand and seeing that latest, greatest McLaren or that latest, greatest, you know, sport utility that you've been looking for. So... Yeah, even if you can't own something, it's nice to see it, what it can nice do. It's nice to be able to appreciate it and yep. get a review on it. Man, there's some good pudding. Oh, rub it in. Absolutely. <laughs> I had Hashtag still a ray. That's right. Guys, <laughs> have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it. Remember, at 50,000 subs, I am going to give away a Microtech knife. And it's going to so be hopefully nice. Hopefully, you're fortunate enough to win it. It'll be a random draw, and we'll do it live on a live stream. So, guys, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. See ya.